welcome, welcome. Here we are today on Wonder Mother and we have a brand new guest. This is Lily. Hello. She's gonna be joining us regularly and you all know, of course, the lovely Miss Luna. So today we're gonna to do another experiment from Mel Chemistry, artificial sea. This is their starter kit. It's for generally, I think, ages 10 and above. Now, have you studied atoms at all? Okay. An atom is something that makes up everything, right? Yeah, that's a pretty good definition. It's the smallest unit of any chemical element. So, like... The smallest and germ? Did you say germ? Yeah. Germs are actually made up of tons of atoms. All matter is composed of atoms. So this box, this girl, this table, it's all made up of atoms, it's all matter. Let's go ahead and open up our kits. Go for it, yeah. Okay, we have these little cards. And so it tells us what the experiment is, okay? But in the back, it sometimes starts to show us, right here, for example, when we're mixing these solutions, how these different atoms start interacting with one another. But shall we continue? Yeah. Let's get into the science, right? So which one should we do first? Jellyfish looks like our, the one to do. Okay, what do we need? What supplies do we need? Can you tell me? Yes. Lily, okay, the Petri dish, uh-huh. Now this is great. See how Mal Science organizes this? Those they put each these. each experiment they put in its own little bag, nicely and neatly organized. We need the blue, the purple, and the red. Okay, that looks like copper sulfate. Why did the liquid flask into the Petri dish? All of it? I think so. Wait, this is liquid glass? It claims to be. So now apply the solutions of metal compounds called metal salts, oh cool, to the surface of the sodium silicate solution. What we're working with here with these uh, metal compounds are manganese sulfate is our purple one, iron chloride, and copper sulfate. Five, four to five drops. So I'm gonna do one, two, two, Cool. Okay. It looks like jellyfish. It does look like jellyfish, yeah. right? Do you want to go for a little more? Sure. Now she's really going for it. Now we're going for it. They've gone nuts, people! Yeah. Alright, we're back. This is the end of our experiment. It came out beautifully. Um, yeah. These girls were very exuberant and they made not not 15, but like 400 uh, little yeah. jellyfish. Yeah, more than more than um, she expected. More than I expected. Let's read what happened. Let's focus up, it. people, focus up. Here's the point. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. This is what happened. An ion exchange reaction occurs between the sodium silicate. We'll get into ions this week. Run over there and see if you can go find the word ion. I think I know what it is. Positively or negatively charged Adam. Come here. Bring that ion card, please. No, watch it on. Okay. <laughs> ion. Okay. Did M Wonder Mother get it right? I think she did. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> An atom that has a positive or negative charge. What? <laughs> this isn't TikTok over here, you know? Okay. An ion exchange reaction occurs between the sodium silicate you and want, the metal you want salts. TikTok? No. An ion exchange reaction occurs between the sodium silicate, that's liquid glass and the metal salt. As a result, okay, an ion is a negatively or positively charged atom. Mm -hmm. As a result, insoluble metal silicates form. They look like jellyfish. They're so cute. They are cute. If we take two substances, negatively charged and positively charged, that can split up into parts called ions. It's just what we were saying, we got it. So this is what I was talking about. Come look, come look, come look. This is kind of neat because this is actually what is happening there on like a molecular level. <laughs> um, I think I'm pitching this to the wrong audience. My understanding is the jellyfish are meant to demonstrate an ion exchange reaction. So liquid glass is a mix of water and sodium silicate. Sodium silicate is two sodium atoms with a positive charge bound ionically to the negatively charged oxygens going around silicon. 
Normally when these are in water, they all just dissociate, float around, have a party. Trust that they'll come back eventually. Um, now the other reagent we are using, <laughs> copper sulfate. <laughs> copper sulfate, very similar to, sil uh, to sodium silicate. Four oxygens, two double bonds, and then two free oxygens, so a charge of negative two. Copper has a charge of positive two, that binds to these two like that. Normally when you throw it in the water, they flow around, no big whoop. However, here's our mixture of liquid glass, and everybody's just floating around there. And now when we throw in copper sulfate, the copper bounces off, but due to the properties of copper and the atoms, it says like, mm hmm, hey there. Silicate sodiums, I see you've left and traveled around. I'm gonna form a very strong bond with you. And then it forms a solid. It actually forms such a strong bond, it drops to the bottom and forms a solid. And in the meantime, some sodiums come and hang out with some sulfate, and that's good, but that's what you're seeing formed with the jelly. Okay, so we're t because we're reviewing these kits for um, other people too, we're gonna rate it on my patented five point scale. It's not really patented. The first thing that we're gonna say on a scale of one to five, did you have fun? Yes, yes. Yes, so you give it a five. Oh, yeah. You yeah, give it a five. Yeah. Was that because you were doing a TikTok dance as well? Yeah. It was, okay. So, and how about you? You did not do a TikTok dance. So I thought it was a five for sure. I agree. I th and I think it looks, I think it looks beautiful. Next, on our scale, did you learn anything? Oh, definitely. I mean, um, I think I'd give it a four because it's a little confusing and yeah. you always have to look up, look it up after. Yeah. But it's pretty dense. That's pretty high level. Mm -hmm. so I'm baffled. Little, so it's a little confusing, but they definitely teach you it. Just so I'd give it a four because it does teach you everything. Just in confusing ways, so you have to learn it in a different way. Although I will say it does give cute faces to these guys, which I always think is very helpful to give science things cute faces to make them more friendly. Um, Three, sustainability. I think that this... I think it's a two. You think it's a two because of all the plastic? Think of it in one thing. We could put it in one thing all lined up next to each other. Yeah. That would be a lot easier than a lot of bits of separate plastic. I, I agree, like they give this in our starter kit, so yeah. maybe they don't need to give us that every time. But I do think that this starter kit gets so much use out of it. Yeah. I'd give it a two. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I would probably give it a three. A three, okay. So then the next okay. thing is, oh, just the general quality. I think the general quality is great. I think I'd give it a five. Oh, definitely for Slam three. dunk. <laughs> And this card is super organized, even if we don't totally get all of this yet, because we're slightly rushed, honestly, and I think once we dig into it, we'll get it. Because mm -hmm. we're learning more and more about atoms and molecules every week, and you will too. So then the next thing is price. Is it? It's like 30 bucks a month. But, but I, I really, it's I think it's worth it. I love Mel Science, even if they ignore me on social media. There you have it. In general, we like, we like this too. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.